Hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I am actually kind of surprised by the, the most recent update to this game. So, not only does 20 Minutes Till Dawn have a new character, but apparently they're expanding into a new game called 20 Minutes Till Dawn Ember Path. Which, there's already a Steam page up for it, you can have a preview of the game, like... I gotta say, if this game comes out in a relatively, like, relatively soon, that'll be the quickest turnaround since Five Nights at Freddy's. And as you can see, the art, the art looks different. Like, I already have the game on my wish list because I like this one so much. So that ought to be interesting. Hey, wait a minute, Dark Sage, you just said that there was a new character. You can't just gloss over that. Oh, trust me, I'm not, because I'm about to get into it. The new character's name is Katana. Like, she even looks like the DC Comics character of Katana. A little bit, anyway. I mean, I guess I shouldn't get... I shouldn't go overboard on it. She's... And she's clearly Asian, like Katana is. Like, specifically, she looks Japanese. But... I mean, to be fair, red isn't exactly a common hair color in Japan, so... Either she dyed her hair, or she has some very rare genetics. But either way, she's a very interesting character. Her gimmick is that she summons a magic sword as, as soon as she's done reloading. So, for this character, reload speed is very important, and we have some excited birds. Hey guys! But yeah, as soon as I learned about the update, I tried Katana out, and yeah, she's a she's a fairly interesting character. Like, I don't know how strong I would how strong people are gonna say she is. But I would definitely say she's kind of a balanced character leaning towards summon. <laughs> so I don't think she necessarily replaces Lilith as the Queen of Summon characters. But she's good, and I will try to put together a run that demonstrates that. How do we do that? And obviously we want to reload frequently, so we're not taking Ethereal. Like, by all rights, I could go Dedication, but she gets a lot from Summon, so we're probably going to have more than one Summon, so let's not do that. Last Cannon... Let's see. For her, fire rate and reload rate might be most important. We will take close combat, though, and you will see why in a minute, and I'm fine with glass cannon. And I'm pretty sure everything else remains the same. So we are going to take the shotgun. We'll go standard. Ooh, and I did the forest earlier, so do I want to do it again, or do I want to take her to the pumpkin patch? What the hell, we'll go pumpkin patch. What's the worst that can happen? I lose? No. Heaven forfend, I actually have difficulty. So as you can see, her strength... Her um, ability kicks in the moment the moment that she's done reloading. So, weapon a weapon like the shotgun, where you have fast reload times and end up reloading quickly, is exactly what we want. So the idea is to. The idea is to create a shotgun build where we don't have to. Um, we're going to take quick hands because that is going to start leading us towards the synergy that we want, which is, where are you? Mini clip. So we want fan fire and fresh clip. So we need, so we need the double, we need double shot and reload tree. Then after that, what we actually want is to start building up summon attack speed and damage. And 
and anything else we pick up at that point will be building off of one of those ideas or will just kind of be incidental. And remember, the shotgun's damage per bullet is pretty low, but you get a bunch of bullets. So losing out on some damage is not the worst thing in the world. The game plan here is pretty simple, it's just putting everything together is of course going to be the most difficult part. Then Frost Mage of course is going to act as more of a control method. Alright, game is having a fun time making me go in a direction that I wasn't intending on going. As it always does, seemingly. Like, I know what I'm going for, but the game's like, oh no, you're going to do this my way, bitch. Fusillade. Let's not wall myself in like a genius. It's And her, the first ability I get is she summons a second sword when I upon reloading. So, actually, very nice. Yeah, I haven't taken another summon yet because I'm trying to lim I'm trying to limit my windows of opportunity. Basically, I'm trying to take the things that'll get me to the most in to the uh, gun base stuff first. Like there's fresh clip. Like this will actually help quite a bit for my damage. So then, of course, Mini Clip is the next most important thing, for whenever it shows up. But at least I have the requisite stuff taken, so now I can concentrate on things like increasing my bullet damage and, you know, getting a, getting a summon so I can start increasing her sword and her sword's attack damage and speed. But as you can see, they're doing a great job of taking care of things. Now, as far as her other character-specific upgrades, the other things that she gets are the swords will get start getting damage bonuses equal to her bullet damage bonuses, so you definitely want bullet damage. 
And the other thing is her swords will start taking on taking on the effects of her on hit bonuses. So in, in this case I have Frost Mage, so So the swords will start doing ice effects after I get that bonus. When I played this character earlier, she ended up getting... Let's see, what do we got? Because I am going to start taking movement speed bonuses, I will grab Tome of Wind. There's Mini Clip. So now, now we can start going nuts with swords. As you can see, we're just gonna spam them all over the place. And yeah, those eyeball, those eyeball bats are going to be particularly rough to take down. Let's... Take that. So you, you can clearly now see how this is going to work. And with all this summon action, we should we should be in starting to see things like Trainer and Frenzy pretty soon here. So Trainer, Frenzy, and things that offer movement speed bonuses are definitely what I want. There's Frenzy. Yes, have a nice shower of steel, my friends. You came into this fight expecting ease, but all you got was these swords. I thought it was clever, but it was shit. Admittedly, kill clip is kind of pointless, but there was the only thing there that I actually wanted on that up on that level up. All right, what do we got? I think we take haste. Start, start building up some of that movement speed so that we can use that Tome of Wind more effectively. Oh, here we go. So normally I pick Dual Wield, but I might try Focused Blast this time.
And that's mostly because we've got the coverage. We've got the swords. We've got we've got the eye of the storm. Like we've got. Like, we've got coverage. What we could really use now is some... is some good old summon damage. You know, like that. Remember, every time I reload, she's getting more, so... See, I don't think Rapid Fire is going to help that much, so we'll take Evasive. Shatter, Tiny... Ooh, I like both Tiny and Blaze. I think I'm taking Blazing Speed. I suppose... I suppose the Shot Speed tree wouldn't be a bad thing to have here either. Yes, there is. I'll take Ghost Friend. The Summon Mastery could actually be a good thing to work my way towards. Um, oh, Power Shot. Yeah, why not? The splinter would definitely be helpful. Yes, fill the screen with swords. Remember, they last for five seconds, so there's lots of overlap with them. Like what I would really like to see right now is pulsing summons. Have the we are we're going down the tree that we need to make that happen. We just need it to show up now. Definitely take Scythe Master. Like, this is pretty much the hardest part of the pumpkin patch, and frankly, of any stage. Like, kind of like, starting at that eight and a half minute mark is where things get really, really crazy. Got anything good? Yes, we have Wind Cutter. There we go. So the swords burn and they now do on hit effects, even though it's, you know, misspelled. Magic swords no can inflict your on hit effects. Remember, if you didn't hit, 
If you didn't know it was there, you know now, and you can probably never unsee it. So now my swords can freeze, and as you can see, they're doing a very good job of keeping enemies off my back now. Because even if they don't kill, they are freezing. in trouble. Uh, we're gonna grab Soul Shield. Yes, I'm not talking much because, you know, I'm trying not to be dead. Ooh, definitely take feed. Yeah, feed the beasts. This will start to boost that summon damage quite a bit. My own damage is already fine. And there's pulsing summons. Okay, baby, we're we're gonna be looking pretty good now. So in all reality, was Focus Blast the right idea? I'm actually gonna say I probably would have been better off with dual wield still, but. There's Splinter. Definitely take that. Um, what do we got here? Mmm, summons can inflict burn and they move even faster. Yes, please. Yeah, so you can see the pace with which you can summon swords is pretty nice. And because it's not dependent on kills, I would say, despite what I said earlier, Katana, at the very least, kind of matches up with Lilith. Home of Stillness. Oh, and here's in, here's our next boss. Or you're not actually a boss, you're more of an elite. And smoked. And now here's the one where you you get, first of all, it's plus 40% bullet damage. Like, that's ridiculous. And very clearly, that's the one you want to see first when you're playing Katana. But, yeah, outside, and on top of that, Magic Swords damage is increased by bonuses to your bullet damage. Of 
more summon damage, please. At this point, we've pretty much won, but you don't rest on your laurels just because you're doing good. Because, yeah, I've I've lost runs in the last in the last three minutes. Remember, the enemies do more damage. Calling, yes, please. Yes, come, come to me, strange pumpkin people. Come and meet your end. Fire rate plus ten percent? Yes, please. I wait. I'm dumb. I don't. I didn't need that. No, I have mini clip. The only thing that matters is reload speed. Oh well. What's done is done, I suppose. Reaper rounds, yes, we'll take that. Remember, both my scythe and my swords are getting boosted by bonuses to my bullet damage. This poor ghost is like, don't I get anything? Well, um, you get a nice hat. That's about what you get. Take it and, take it and like it. I guess you could additionally say that this little ghost is the ghost of the money and time that I wasted on picking up the ghost familiar. Huh. Yeah, I think actually I might have I might be doing just a little bit better if I were using dual wield instead of focus blast. But make no mistake, I feel like I'm doing fine. Uh, tiny. That seems like the best option. Alright, we only have to survive one minute at this point. I'm not even going to pretend and say like, oh, can we do it? It's getting so intense. No, this will we'll be fine. Vengeful Ghost. All right. I mean, pretty much I got exactly what I wanted, and the build turned out precisely the way I thought it would. And you know what? I'm happy with that. Like, I also theorize that she'd do okay with the crossbow, but she can reload so much faster with the shotgun. Uh, the way I played her earlier, I did it with the revolver, just because that's your, gen your kind of generalist all-around weapon. And yeah, I feel like I did a fine job with that as well. This, the shotgun just seems to be the weapon that works best for her, despite her name literally being a word for a Japanese sword with a folded blade. And that's Katana, and ooh, another 13,000 kill run. I am happy with that. Yeah, pretty soon here I'm gonna have to start getting into the kill count meta and seeing what the best way is to get a high number of kills. Because even though I'm happy with 13,000, I imagine that you can actually get to much higher numbers if you know what you're doing, and I would like to know what I'm doing. So yeah, that is the new character. Definitely give her a try. I think she's got a lot of potential as a high-ranking high, as a high -ranking summon character. 
Like, I don't know if she's better or worse than Lilith. Uh, for my money, I kind of rank them similarly. So, I mean, I know that's like, oh, Dorksade, you're just being a fence-sitting dumbass now. Urgh. A little bit. But that's because I haven't put in enough time to really know if one of them is better than the other. For my money, I like the way Katana plays a little bit better because you kind of have this in-between style where you're not totally focused on summons, but you're not totally focused on your gun either. Like, it feels like there's fair play to be had with any build with Katana. And she's a character that works really well with reload speed, which is really interesting. So, yeah, give this character a try. She's a lot of fun. And also, don't forget to check out the Steam page for 20 Minutes Till Dawn Ember Path. Like, the art style looks very different. And I'm really excited to see what Flan comes up with for Ember Path. But that having been said, that's all my time for today. So thank you guys very much for watching. I very much appreciate your continued support. I hope you have a fantastic day or night wherever you may happen to be. And I will catch you in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker and you take care, everybody.